According to local coverage, it is the start of new school year for many districts throughout the area. One of them, of course, Providence. New year also brings some new changes for drivers in the city. More than a dozen speed zone cameras going live this morning. Brandon Truitt in Providence this morning. You say uh, some of the cameras are now located in some new locations. Well, Patrick, Danielle, they are set up in school zones throughout the city. The idea here is to keep students safe as they are making their way to class. And although the speed cameras aren't necessarily new, they might be in some different locations than drivers are expecting. Now, the police department calls these portable camera units. They're designed to move to problem spots where speeding is deemed an issue. And today starts a 30 day warning period for drivers. These cameras have been controversial but profitable for the city. Now, combined with other traffic cameras, they brought in millions last year. Providence police say the cameras are active on school days from 6 a.m. to 7 at night. Nine of the cameras are in the same location, but here's a look at six that have been moved. You can see some of them listed here. Highlander Charter School on Broad Street, Providence Charter and Technical Academy, where we are located on Cranston Street, and Alfred Lima Elementary on Dexter Street. Here's the last three that are moved. Aventure Academy on Branch Ave, Times 2 Academy on Douglas Avenue, and LaSalle Academy on Academy Avenue. Now, new in the last 30 minutes, the uh, the city's public safety commissioner, Stephen Peary, tweeted uh, a message to drivers saying, quote, please drive slowly around Providence schools as children return to school this morning. Speed enforcement brings uh, so go slow uh, for our precious kids and teachers. Now, drivers will start having to pay these fines starting on October 21st. If you're cited for speeding, you can expect to pay $50 for that ticket. Live in Providence, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.